right. Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of uh, videos on wool blankets and how to use them. Um, this is a uh, wool throw that is sewn together, two wool throws that are sewn together. Uh, and everybody knows the match coat system um, where you wear the blanket like this and you, you know, put a little rock here and you put a little clove hitch here and then you got kind of a, you know, hoodie here and then, you know, you put your belt around here and then you got like a, you know, a movable thing. So everybody knows that system um, and usage of that. I haven't really seen anybody um, explain the, uh, like the monk system. Um, uh, before I became a pastor, I studied Buddhism for like 10 years. I had a Tibetan monk uh, live with me, um, uh, you know, a couple years, and um, you know, did meditation and all those kind of things. So, thermoregulating your body in nature or natural settings was very important. And so, how we wrapped up. Um, was a system, and unlike the match coat, I mean the match coat is good. Uh, <clears throat> the only thing I have with the match coat is that you know it gets a little claustrophobic. I don't get as much movement. Um, traditionally, how the monks do it is they they put they put the shorter section over like their uh, left arm if they're right-handed. Um, you know your strong arm sort of being out, and hang it down like that and then throw this over like that. Um, the only problem with this is if you're doing a lot of, if you're bushcrafting and you're doing like a lot of, you know, hunt gathering or, you know, searching for edibles or hunting or whatever, this can get very cumbersome uh, because this has a tendency to like fall off as you're moving, you know, fall out, fall off. Um, so what I did to modify that is simply just do it the opposite way around, you know, throw this short side over first, then pull it over like this, then get my arm through. Now this is locking that piece in place. Um, and now I can actually move, I can move um, and you know I can bend over and it doesn't fall off me because the, the bottom layer is locked under place. And if I want to thermoregulate, like right now it's, it's warm, um, and I want to re let heat re be released out. This whole side is open here. Um, you just fold these two flaps here on the other side open. And that just opens up this whole side and it lets out all that heat, like a vent system, which allows you to thermoregulate. And even wearing your robe like this is, um, is a great way to store it. Like if you have, you know, if you have your, if you have your watch coat, and this is the Tent Smith's watch coat, and I just sewed on a, a oversized hood. So you can see that. That's the back of the hood. I just put in the hood and the, uh, sewed it on. on it. And what's nice about this is that the watch coat, you can actually wear over it, so your wool blanket is also protected. And then you got your hoodie. Boom, you know? Um, and you can just close it up over your hoodie, I mean your wool blanket, and that prevents it, like if you're holding, if you have like a pilot stack, you know, if you're using, right, then you can just throw that over and it locks the whole system in place when it's pouring raining, and you got your whole, you got your whole system covered, um, and it's protected, you know, in the rain. There's that haversack, boom, see, it locks that, this, these flaps in place, and by folding the left side over, my haversack just holds that down, you know? So I got all my contents on my wool blanket. I got my 10 C's in here, easy. I got my billy cam in here too. I'll show you in that in another video. But um, I got my wool blanket is worn. I can wear it underneath this. Uh, whereas in a match coat, it's very hard to do that. You have to kind of flap it up and then kind of protect it uh, with your rain gear. So that's one of the versatile points about folding it up like this. So, you can fold it up, it doesn't, it doesn't, you don't overheat because it is open, it's only just covering here and here, the back and the front. And when you want to start thermoregulating, when it starts cooling down, 
you pull that sign down and that starts allowing you to trap and retain that heat. When you get further colder, um, the technique was this, to pull this side over your shoulder. And by locking that over your neck and just putting over your shoulder, just draping over the shoulder, this creates a massive heat retention system, um, which you won't, you'll be surprised how much heat your body's able to retain just by doing this kind of system. Uh, and your hand is free. Your hand is free here. Uh, you get full range of motion, as you can see, full range of motion. So even if you were uh, on a scout, even if you were hunting, you could do this easily. Uh, you know? Um, and so this, this, just by this little flap, it, it helps retain that heat to the next level uh, uh, tremendously. And you'll have to, you won't believe me until you try it. Uh, but that's, uh, that's the next level system. Now when you get, and then when you get further colder, you can just drop this hand inside like this. By dropping this hand inside, now your hand, is arm is protected, that arm starts getting chilled. And if it's getting wind, wind chilled in here, you just f close this up here, here, and then you flop it over your shoulder here. And by doing this, if you have your haversack, that will lock it in place. Um, and that will now close off that whole area, and now you have essentially a whole blanket around you. Okay? Uh, the next level up is actually then using this as a hood. So from here, you get your shoulder covered. That protects your whole core. It helps retain the heat. The next level is where you put your head, put it over your head. Because say your he head is getting cold. Um, and just by, just by tying a small little cotton twine around your neck here, in a, you know, in a, not in a noose or something, but in a, um, you know, regular shoelace fashion, so you can just pull it off real quick if, and it doesn't get snagged on you. If it gets snagged, it just pops right off. But this kind of, that holds it right here in place. Um, if you don't have that, you can still do like this. And when you get colder, even colder than, than when you have the hood, hood system on, um, then you just drop this arm in again. And then here, you throw this side over. Or you can just simply adjust it here and bring it up just like that. Tight, tightening it up around your neck and then pulling it over. That will give you a lot more excess room on this side here. This is the traditional way it's done in, done in India. Um, usually with Tibetan monks, um, they do two, two, actually, two blankets. So there's one blanket which you use in this system, either open or when you get cold, you pull it over your um, your uh, right sh your shoulder here, trap it, and then you wear on top of that, you wear like a match coat and just wear like a hood. Just like blanket, put the blanket over your head so it drapes over your head. Uh, but that's always one extra blanket you have to carry. Um, with this way, uh, you guys who are doing the 21st century long hunter seer, uh, systems or like traditional style, this is just uh, another way, another one from the east um, that I picked up, uh, but I never saw a video done on it on how to use these uh, these things uh, for your for your wool blanket. When I when I um, when I sleep in this wool blanket, um, I'll obviously because it's a smaller system. I don't do the diamond fashion. I won't use it on super 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 uh, cold days. But I'll actually combine it with my MMS system, and I'll just wear it like this inside like this. It's got a flap of overlapping uh, fabric where the two pieces are combined. And so the, the back section is very, it's double layered. And I'll just go like this, and I'll actually just sit into my hammock or into my, you know, onto, my onto the ground and get in my MMS that way. If I'm not using the MMS, then I'll just fold it over and just make a raging fire um, to keep myself warm. Um, but I just wanted to make that video. I never saw, um, um, the uses of a wool blanket or tips and tricks, um, monk style. Um, and I just felt that, uh, I just wanted to add that to the, um, to the bushcraft community. Um, you know, another thing just to put in your toolbox, another option, uh, to think about uh, or to utilize. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I didn't forget anything. And, um, you guys be blessed. Stay blessed. God bless. Take care.